Hello and welcome to the video related to the fifth chapter of the book Interaction Design Beyond Human-Computer Interaction, the fifth edition. This chapter has the name Social Interaction and we will talk about social beings and communication. Social beings. People are social beings. We live in communities and we most of the times care uh, what other people think or say about us. We get influenced of other people. We learn by looking at other people. We compete or cooperate with people. We recognize other people's achievement or our achievement get recognized by other people and so on. All these concepts can be transferred to a virtual space, like a virtual meeting room, a social network, or digital, other digital spaces. If you want to know more about social influence and the different aspects of social influence, you can see the video that is in the description from Professor Agnes Tip. Communication. Face-to-face -face communication is a um, rich type of communication. We communicate with our body language, with the tone of our voice, with uh, facial expressions, apart from just the language and the word, the words that we are using. Exactly the same expression can mean a different thing based on our tone, like we're having fun or uh, we are having fun, aren't we? So the tone changes how the message is conveyed. There are conversational mechanisms that allow people to communicate a coordinate conversation. For example, a one speaker may start and then this the same speaker may address a qu another speaker uh, by asking a question or by inviting the other person to say his or her opinion. And then the other person can start talking and say their opinion. And then when they stop, another person can start uh, talking. Uh, of course, there are misunderstandings. Uh, we may ask in the conversation, what did you mean? Or I uh, didn't hear, can you repeat? Or we can also ask to clarify uh, or to see if other people understood what we meant. Uh, for example, uh, haven't been understood. Does anyone have any questions? And so on. Social presence, telepresence and co-presence. Social presence is the perception that we are together with other people, either in the virtual world or in the phys physical world. is more of a um, feeling. Telepresence is when our body is in a different place than our virtual self. Like uh, it happens with this robot, uses wheels to move around and it has a screen with a face and you can see that the robot can freely move around in the space even though the person is in a different room. You can see the full video uh, at the description of this video. And finally social engagement where it is our engagement in a group and in the, this group's activities, both physical but also digitally. So we can be in a support group for a particular condition or a healthcare condition, or we can be in a group that is uh, supporting that supports um, people on coding. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video for chapter 6.